Hey everybody and welcome to what I like to call the dance of the decimals. Today we are going to make the decimal simply dance around. We are not going to be doing a lot of um, arithmetic or calculation with them, but we're going to notice some patterns when we work with powers of 10. And I like to do P-O-T to abbreviate that. So what happens when you multiply by a power of 10? Many of you already know this, but if you look at 10 times 0.83, we get 83. If we look at 100 times 8.3, you get 833, or 830, pardon me. When you multiply 1,000 times 8.3, you get 8,300. Hmm, there's three, oh goodness, I'm seeing a pattern here. So at 10,000 times 8.3, I get 83,000. Now when we divide, you're going to see the opposite pattern happen. So if we do 0.1, sorry that's hard to read, times 8.3, we're going to get 83 hundredths, 0.83. If we do 1 one hundredth of or times 8.3, we are going to get 83 thousandths or 0 0.083. 1 one thousandth times 8.3 times 8 is 83 ten thousandths and one ten thousandth times 8.3 is 83 hundred thousandths. So what's happening here? You see the pattern when we multiply. Let's get a little bit more technical. So when you look at the key concept, when you multiply a number by a whole number power of 10, you're going to move one decimal place to the right for each zero. So for instance, if we have 3.995 times 100, I see two zeros, and I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to move it two places, so I'm going to place that decimal right there before the five, so it becomes 399 and one-tenth. Now, when we are multiplying times a decimal power of 10, for instance 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, um, we are going to move the decimal place one to the left for each decimal place. Not the number of zeros, how many decimal places in the power of 10. So if we have 399.5 times 0 0.001, we are going to move that decimal 3 to the left. So 1, 2, 3, and that becomes 0.3995 or 3,995 ten thousandths. Let's try 0 0.05 times 1,000. So you can pause the video, try it. What you should have come up with is if you put the point zero 0.05 here and you move it 1, 2, 3, because there are three numbers and three zeros in the 1,000, just like it says up here, you are going to put your decimal right there. This ends up being a cow's come home video, zero, and you end up with 50. The bottom, or the next one, 95.38 times 1 ten thousandth, we are going to end up moving it to the left. And how many places? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I, am, I know I'm going to the left. I'm going to put my 9538. I'll start it where it started here, but go one, two, three, four, and I need to put my placeholder zeros in there. And so there is your number for that one. The place where I see a lot of students struggle is when we divide by the power of 10. It's important to keep great notes right now because this is definitely um, where the snags happen. So when you are dividing a whole number by 
by a power of 10 or a, a whole a 100, 1000, um, you are going to move your decimal one place to the left. So here's your number that you're starting out with. So it's a whole number power of 10. If we are or dividing it by 100, you're going to start with your 35 and you're going to move it left for each zero that exists. So it's one, two zeros. We're going to put it right here. Okay, that's the, how the pattern works. Now, this is the trickiest one where I've seen a lot of kids have some issues. So listen carefully. If you have a decimal power of 10, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and you're dividing the, the whole, the number by a decimal power of 10, what you are asking is how many thousandths are in 35? So if you were to break the number 35 into little pieces of one thousandths, the number actually gets bigger. There are a lot of thousandths in the number 35. So what ends up happening is you move to the right for each decimal place. So you start with 35 and you move one, two, three places to the right. There are 35,000 thousandths in the number 35. So it would be like if we had a coin that was equal to a 1,000th, so even tinier than a penny. How many of those would be in $35? So you can see why the number does get bigger. If you need to review this, um, this is on page 194 in your text if you need to take a peek at it. The next thing that I would like you to do is try these two together for sure, and then we will go through some examples, and you can pause the video, and if you are getting the correct answers, you don't have to do all six, but if you feel like you need a little practice, this is a good time to do that. So we are going to first do 508.3 divided by 10. So we have one place, one zero to move, so you end up getting 50.83. We started here, we moved here. Now this is the one where we move right. How many places? Well, there are two numbers after the decimal, so it ends up being 508. Three, but we started right here and we are going to move it two places to the right. We do need to add a placeholder zero. So it ends up being 50,830. Now I want you to realize that this is like saying we're going to divide $508.30 into pennies. This is how many pennies you would be getting. So if that helps you remember, when you divide by a decimal, you're seeing how many, it's like seeing how many pennies or how many tenths of a penny, if you're in thousands, are in something. So take a look at these. You can pause after each one. I'll give a couple of seconds and you can pause again. And I'm just going to simply write the correct answer down. If you find you're having some issues with finding the correct answer, then please um, make sure that you come and see me. Okay, 6.07 times 1,000. Sorry about the lights. I usually write the number out and then figure out which way I'm moving. 6,070. So this one I know I'm moving to the left. two places. Here we're going to divide by 100. Okay. 
and this is 42, you can't see it very well, 42.6. And I know I need to divide, so two places to the left. 509 divided by 1,000. There are three zeros here. One, two, three. Five divided by point one. How many dimes are in five dollars? I like to say. And I know that this one, I have to move it one to the right. So it starts right here. Placeholder zero should be 50. Number six, 3.2. So I'm going to write three and a two down. And there are three places right here. I started right here and I moved to the right. One, two, three. If you forget how to do this, simply go back to your notes and say, which one am I doing? If you are dividing by a decimal, you say, okay, one to the right for each decimal place. So it's a great idea to keep these notes right in front of you as you do your assignment today. Again, this is showing you a pattern in math. It's not necessarily difficult, but you can learn it backwards if you don't refer back to these with each and every question. Thanks for listening today. Please ask me questions if you have any, and good luck to you on your assignment.